Welcome to day four, guys. Um, woken up a bit late today. I slept really well, though. Um, I did say I was going to have a shave, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not going to time lapse it for you because I don't know. Actually, uh, yeah, I might. We'll see. This one was needed yesterday. So now that wasn't so hard at all, was it? Having a little shave, looking a little bit better. I could have done that in 10 minutes the other day. I uh, just wanted to say a quick shout out to all of those new uh, people that have come through this community. Uh, it wasn't really my intention to, to build the channel through these these vlogs uh, as such. It was more of an outlet, but also keeping myself accountable. Um, but I've had so many gorgeous messages, and I want to take some time a little bit later in this video uh, to go through those with you guys and, and respond to a few of the, the questions that are there. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and Pittsburgh, yeah, Michelangelo is my, my favourite uh, turtle. We'll, we'll cover that now. It's all about the nunchucks, baby. Just arrived at a pad mine for the kids. It's a nice little show. Hopefully it doesn't go too long. Nah, should be a bit of fun. Hopefully there's a bit of fun involvement. You excited, kids? Huh? You excited for the panto? A bit. A bit. Oh, whatever. See how they feel after. <laughs> yeah. If you're happy and you know it, rock and roll. Well, it's been a bit, been a bit of fun, but uh, just at interval after about an hour and twenty minutes, that's pretty long for a pantomime for kids, really. Uh, they're having a fantastic time. Um, it is pretty stupid, and it's it's not woke, which is lovely. Um, you know, you got women playing male characters, uh, and they're called the male character. They don't have to change their name. Um, you know, the guy that's dressed in drag is singing in a low voice at times. Yeah, it's just perfect, cool panto stuff. So, um, yeah, just taking a quick walk for a break on this interval because I think I've got another hour and 20 to sit there. They did a great, because it's a Robin Hood themed thing um, but for kids, but they did a great rendition of Men in Tights. And um, I thought it was fantastic. So, just a reminder to anyone that hasn't seen it all or hasn't seen it in ages, Men in Tights. Right and another interesting little tidbit, they were going to do this song, but they weren't allowed to because the owner actually contacted this theatre group. Weird. Local amateur. I guess I need a snack for the second half here. I'm just thinking lifesavers, fruit pastilles might be the way to go. So we're having a tested patience on day four. Just sat through two and a half hours of this panto. It's still not over. We had a ten minute interval. At the end of the interval, the the bell was going off, but we were looking for my son. He went missing for a few minutes. Pretty prioritizing, you know. Here with my sister, brother-in-law, my other a couple of kids and my wife. Um, but yeah, I really want to make sure my eight-year-old was safe. He was just getting a chocolate bar after he went to the toilet. It was a safe space, but you just never take your eyes off him, right? So once he was ready, they were ready to start. I thought, right, I better go get a drink and something to snack on. And some guy tells me, no, we're about to start. As if I'm not allowed to leave the auditorium. It's an amateur theatre production. So I leave. I say, no, no, I'll just be back in a sec. Well, we can't start without you. Please start. 
and then uh, I just get dirty looks from everyone. I say, excuse me, I've worked stage before. I'll, I'll sneak in. I'm in the back row, three seats in. I'll sneak in, head down. No one will notice me. Uh, but they still waited till I started. And they started about two minutes after I sat down anyway. So it was just a bit of a pressure for no reason. But then the whole second half, I've had someone behind me kicking at my seat and kneeing at my seat and doing that knee wobble thing where they just tap their leg because they're anxious as hell. Maybe they're a smoker, whatever, I don't care. But the whole ground is shaking, the whole chair is shaking for most of that, as well as getting a tap, 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 tap in the back of my seat. And I couldn't keep turning around because it's a children's show. I was pretty sure they were older teenagers. And I just had to walk out and give them a dirty look then towards the end of the show because I've just dealt with about an hour and a half to two hours. It was happening in the first half too. Somebody's kicking at my chair and making my chair wobble and shake. If my kids do that once or twice when I'm in the car, I'm telling off straight away. So I've exercised the utmost patience. <laughs> Proud of myself for getting that far, but I still had to just sort of walk away from it. Um, which look, you can't change people, can you? So so I take a quick break and uh, get back to it. Hopefully I don't get told off for walking back in again. <laughs> Thanks guys, great job. Thanks guys, good work. Did you have fun, boys? Sorry. Sorry, no, you're all right. Did you have fun, lads? Yeah. Funny show, eh? So I just also wanted to take a moment uh, to introduce my father, um, the stage manager of this pantomime, uh, something he's been getting actively involved in, um, and someone who's been a huge inspiration and support for me uh, through this journey. Um, it's really embarrassing to talk to you your father about something like this and, and, and you know how much help you might need or anything. Um, but when you when you turn to them, especially if you've got a good relationship, I'm sorry, not everyone does, I shouldn't presume that, but when you do turn to someone like that, um, it can be quite an inspiration. So thanks, Dad. And uh, you look good out there with your, with your cans on and your stage manager gear and you did a great job. So um, yeah, props for Brad's dad. Well, that was a fun show, wasn't it boys? Did you have fun at the show? I know you already said you yeah. did out there before. Yeah? yeah. You know, there's a movie called Robin Hood Met in Tice. Do you want to watch that? Yeah. It's a funny Robin Hood show. It'll be fun. The show was really good, though. It was actually entertaining for the wife and I. Um, a lot of cool little jokes, a little bit of parental jokes, as well as plenty of punny, punny, punny jokes and the children's participation. So it's good to see them all getting involved. All got up on stage and. Yeah. yeah good afternoon. Getting off to do a stupid thing that I do every now and then. Get some fags. The pain. Bullies are a bit uh, expensive than this. No, I paid 37 bullies yesterday. Really? Yeah. I quit smoking five years ago. No, no, no. I've, I've, been, no I've, I've been on an But off they smoking. should be cheaper. The, the That's what I always to be heard. Cheap. That's what somebody told me before as well. This is supposed to be the cheapest option in the market. Yeah. Like, except, I don't know, other two for that. Tell your boss, Woolies might be trying to undercut you. <laughs> Watch out for Woolies. Cheers, brother. Look after yourself, eh? So that's the fun of games. What a dickhead. Buying smokes again. And they're more expensive again. You can't even believe it, mate. Here we are down the park. Got a bit of a kickabout. So we're going to. Uh, Go on, let's get moving. Where's Bob? Oh, you come in here, I'll cross it to you. Come in here, come in the center, baby. You can dribble it in a bit if you want, and then pass it across. A bit more. Over where I am. I see some open here. Oi! Oi! We're on the corner. Beautiful work. Do you want me to? Yeah. Go on then. Chuck it over. Come on, son. Oh. That's not a penalty kick! 
stop it. That's a sky kick. The goal isn't in the sky. Oh, no, I don't know if you want to stand there or move. I'm not sure. Whistle. Hey. Whistle. I, when I say whistle, Ooh. no. When I say whistle, that's a whistle. Okay. Whistle. All right. Ah. If I catch it, this is you. Punch it. Hey. I would have got it probably. If you punched that, you would have got it. It might have hurt your hand a bit, but. Yeah. Pass it across to me, I'll pass it back. And you get the goal. Alright, now you run in. Run in. Oh, no, back, back, quick. Is that Sorry. Because you're too close to the goal then. Uh, yeah. So if I pass it to here, the goalkeeper's already here. Yeah. You can imagine being back here. Alright. So you can come back here. You've got a defender coming on you, and you see that I'm free. Okay? You pass it to me. Pass it in front of me. Okay? Now I'm going to go around this defender. I'm going to pass to you and you're going to kick. Oh. No hesitation. You're right there. Maybe even go directionally and pass rather than try and poke like it. Whistle. Well, I that's directly at me. I don't I even think it made it past the goal line. Directly at your That's foot. on the goal line. That's not even on the goal line. Oh. <laughs> go again. Go a little bit closer. Okay. How about right? Try and do a little run up. Yeah? Yeah, try and do a little run up instead of just standing there. Whistle. That's better. Going in. I've got enough power though. You can kick a bit harder than that because the fast can be better. Oi! Hey! Got it! That just came past the line before I could get to it. You got it. Well done, buddy. I don't know. Just gonna pass up and down a minute. Pass. Okay. Come. Pass ahead of me. Good lad. Go a bit too hard. Good pass. Right, get it one more time, pass to me, or go for the goal. Are you one? Go for the goal, quick. Good lad. Hope you liked our quick run around. We had some camera issues for about 20 minutes there, so you only caught some of it. 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, we missed a lot of it. That's an outweigh. Did you have fun? Yes. All right, let's go get some dinner. What's the dinner? Who knows? Bolognese.